Hey guys, welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. We got dogs and cats, they're fighting. Tammy's on the couch, she's covered with dogs and cats. She is tired, she has worked all day, and I have run around acting like an idiot. So, I'm going to make her something good for supper, very good. Uh, I've been catching some redfish. So, let's do another fish dish since, uh, since I catch all these fish. So let's see what we got. Okay, what I'm going to make is fish and grits. Redfish and grits. I think that's all redfish. Some of it might be potentially sheep's head, but it should be all redfish. So, this is easy to make. Anybody can make this. And I mean, it is restaurant quality when you make it. You will absolutely love it. So I've got a half a cup of grits. And we use this bowl and we cook it in the microwave. Okay, we don't cook it on the stove top. So I got two cups of water, I got one cup of milk in there. And I'm gonna put it in these grits. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. And I'm gonna put it in the microwave for three minutes. So here we go. All right. in the microwave three minutes all right while we are waiting on that a few vegetables a what do you call it skillet non-stick i have a non-stick skillet all right so let's peel this onion Peel. All right. onion. Now you can put all kind of vegetables in this. Really it's pretty uh, it's pretty flexible. Alright. Alright. Three minutes are up on that microwave. So what we do is we stop. Pull it out. And mix it up real good. You just wanna make sure it doesn't get all clumped up. Okay, really mixed up. Put it back in. Three more minutes. Skillet, nice and hot. Turn it down on medium. Just a little bit of oil in there. Everything in there. Onions and peppers. I'm going to let this saute. y'all get a good look at it okay We're cooking up Put 
Go ahead and throw some pepper in there. All right, a little salt. For right now, stir it up again. Three minutes. Fish. Touch of Tony's, touch of sea salt, and this is patted dry, okay? Turn it over. Touch of Tony's, sea salt. Back to this. starting to look like grits slowly but surely two more minutes here we go Three minutes. Touch the bowl. Up. Okay, those are doing fine. That temperature is about right. Let's go back to our grits. Them grits. They're a touch thin. Tammy, it don't matter if those are thin or it doesn't if I put that cheese in them. All right. Sharp white cheddar. That's what I'm using. You can use cheddar, you can use Mexican blend, you can use mozzarella, whatever. Any kind of cheese you want. Okay. 
timer two. Nice. Savory cheese grits. And we got a little shredded parm there too. That we can use. You want to taste it? Fish and grits, guys. Now, if you want it to be more yellow looking, the grits, of course, you could put a yellow cheese in there. That fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, that looks good. Yep. Yummy, yum. And fish and grits, guys, is just... Did you put awesome. cheese in the grits? I did. Oh. It's white cheese. It was white cheddar. Oh. That's why it doesn't look cheesy. Mmm. Good. If you hadn't had, like, shrimp and grits or fish and grits before, cheese grits, you need to... It's really delicious. You need to try that out. I mean, because you'll pay a bunch of money for that at a restaurant. Yes. Now, I don't know what redfish cost if you were to go to a fish market and buy redfish, but you'd pay a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. So we are very lucky. It's delicious. To be able to make our own, to catch our own, and to be able to eat it right here in our kitchen. I'm about to eat it right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Shrimp and grits or fish and grits. Shrimp and grits, you do the same way. Uh, there's a million ways you could do it. You could add all kind of different vegetables. You could add all kind of, you know, use whatever kind of fish seasoning you like. Uh, there's really not a wrong way to do it as long as you have a good bit of butter in there. And that makes like a really good, I mean, it's, it's just really awesome. It's a really good dish. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.